the Supernova event director and I guess founder of Supernova as well. And I organized Supernova. And your name is? Daniel Zachariu. So Supernova has been running since it was 2002, I think. Yeah, and we're Comic Fest for a couple of years before that, before we rebranded to that. But yeah, we've been Supernova since 2002. Um, what were some of the some of the bigger challenges, I guess, um, in trying to reach a broad audience? Because that original 2002, it started in Sydney, and then yeah. you start to work out to Melbourne, to um, places Brisbane like first, then oh, Brisbane, then Melbourne. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, what were some of the challenges that came with that? Uh, look, for us, it's always been the fact that we st I started the whole tour as and convention with 20 bucks worth of postage and stamps, and uh, and so there's it's always been a battle to just fund the whole thing itself. Right. So it's been sort of been a Kickstarter, except that I've been funding it from behind and hoping to catch up. So the initial growth was just basically revenue and getting fans to opt in to help build it. But, you know, we were taking all the risks at the front end rather than trying to get them to commit their capital. It was all pre-Kickstarter anyway and stuff, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, and then, of course, when you get into different marketplaces, if you know Sydney because you live there, that's one thing. But then what do you know about Brisbane? What do you know about Melbourne? What do you know about Perth if you don't? So as we did things in Sydney and it worked, we then tried it in other places and see what didn't, didn't work and it slowly organically grew. What were some of the, the bigger draws of, of Supernova to begin with? Because now it, at this point it's a big focus, there's a big focus on the guests and on the cosplaying. Was that very similar in the, in the early days? Yeah, look, I think the ele basic elements have always been the same. The difference has been the quality of the, of the stars and what we've been able to afford. Like the first Comic Fest in 2000 just had nothing but a couple of comic book um, guests from overseas and some local talent. Then by the second year we had anime voice actors and plus our first uh, sci-fi guest, Virginia Hay from Farscape. And then when we rebranded Supernova, we just kept expanding that. And so it's instead of having one or two guests from per genre, now we've got like 15 and five and four and, you know, and literary guests as well as gaming guests and everything else. Has there been any um, sort of challenge in trying to accommodate different kinds of guests across voice acting and gaming and, and, and that kind of deal? Yeah, I think you try to find what the audience wants and sometimes you're either behind the ball or, behind, or in front of it. So some things like um, with we had RTX um, guests as part of like, um, well, Rooster Teeth guests um, come on board and we found that to be amazing. But they were introduced to us because that wasn't, you know, where we were focused on. And now, of course, you know, do we or don't we incorporate YouTube stars? Where does that come into? What part of pop culture does that, you know, does that represent uh, with Twitch now and Twitch streaming stars? You know, it's, so it's always an interesting thing to see where you can invest and wh what the fans want because ultimately we want to be guided by what the fans want. We can give them things and say, hey, look at this, you know, and they go, and yeah. And, and there's other times we go, hey, look at this, and go, yeah. So like it's just it's a bit of a guessing game, but an educated guess as we progress. And I guess we try to have some brains trust in the organisation that knows a little bit more about that than that, and then we pull all that together and just make decisions. Looking forward, what are some of the uh, the things that you're wanting to develop within Supernova for the future in a year or a few years uh, time? Good question, especially for now. We just rebranded now to Supernova Comic Con and Gaming because. Back in 2002 when we went from Comic Fest to Supernova, the reason why we changed was because there was resistance to a Comic Con event um, because it was pre being cool. San Diego hadn't risen to the level it has, uh, Big Bang Theory hadn't popularised it to mainstream audience, um, even things like New York Comic Con hadn't broken out off the back of those two things and then become this its own thing about being a, a Comic Con. So now we're sort of taking back a little bit of that, that space and saying this is what we always were. And of course gaming has increased to such a level now and it just it's a natural fit for us because we've always done some of it. Like we had um, the Sega Saturn at our 2001 prom you know, event to, wow. to promote it as well. And so we did worked with you know, them all the way back then. So it's, it's just, um, we've now brought on Twitch and we have a super streaming stage um, which is supported by them and that we're broadcasting through them, streaming through them. Uh, we've got M-Wave, so from the gaming perspective and then from the Comic Con perspective but from the, uh, the, the thing that made San Diego so famous which is bringing and introducing films, TV series, the follow-up seasons, etc. We're trying to do that for Australian film, for Australian TV series. 
So we've got Space Time here, we've got Clever Man Season 2, we've got The Osiris Child, we've got Project Lead and Garrison 7, all this stuff that we're like presenting that to the public in a San Diego-like fashion where you can get go to the Q&As, go to free signings and you're introduced to the concept early or being, you know, re reintroduced to it, say, with Clever Man Season 2 as to why you've got to look out for this Season 2. And we want to be that for Australia. Thank you so much for your time, Daniel. No worries, thank you.